Let's unbox my 3D printer while I tell you how getting a 3D printer completely changed my life. Model information on screen with for you guys, but I really have no idea which one it is. So I know this is the Ender 5 series, not sure exactly which one, but not literally, but you'll follow along. I'll put the information up. Hold up. You guys hear that ASMR? ASMR? Wait. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, man. Let me get a Also, one more thing. I am running a sweepstakes. So here's how you enter. It's for $100, so you can win $100. All you have to do is clip any part of my videos, any content I've made. This can be TikTok, YouTube, wherever. If you find a video and you think you can make it go viral on your own TikTok account, Whoever makes the video go the most viral, I will give you $100. Also, I 3D scanned these Yeezys, and I have an STL file on my website linked below. Go check it out. It was the beginning of March 2020. I didn't, I was stuck by myself in Tennessee. I had nothing to do, nobody to talk to. I hated my life. Okay, I completely hated my life, and I don't mean that lightly. Wow, this is so intimidating. And then we have all these pieces. Whew, I have, we're, we're gonna have a long day. First, we I would fully wake up, right? Nothing to do. I'm not a huge gamer, so video games weren't like a great outlet for me. I played every once in a while. If you remember those streams, thank you for being there. But I did something super important to me, which was reconnecting with things that fascinated with me as a kid. Fascinated me, not fascinated with me. What is something that I really loved as a kid that I just never picked up on or never decided to pursue? And one of those things was 3D printing. I know it sounds weird, but I was like, you know what? You're probably never gonna do anything like this again. I spent months researching, trying to figure out what the best option would be, and I finally settled on the Ender 3 Pro. And the crazy thing is, during quarantine, this really weird thing happened where my mind basically went numb. And I don't mean that figuratively. I literally felt like I wasn't learning. <sighs> I wasn't learning anything, I wasn't becoming smarter, I wasn't developing any skills, and it, I didn't like it, you know. I felt like I was kind of stuck in my rut, I did my thing, I had my routine, I would get up, go jog, make breakfast, eat breakfast, do Zoom, play video games over and over again, and I was like, I need something to challenge me and take me out of my bubble, and that's where 3D printing came in. So all of a sudden, I was like, I spent way too much money on this thing, and I have to make it worth it. I spent all my time researching, watching videos, tutorials, TikToks, whatever I could find to make me learn more about this thing that I just got into, I was spending my time on. And for me, it wasn't so much the learning process that changed me. It was the, f it made me realize if there is something I don't like about my routine, pattern, lifestyle, um, products, content, whatever, I can change it. And I know that doesn't sound that deep, but let me explain why it is oh now some trivia most of our life is completely determined by patterns and habits this means if you do something today you're probably gonna do that same shit tomorrow do that same shit the next day and the next day and the next day right pretty normal but what a lot of people don't realize is you can make this shit up right crazy i know if you're like oh i want to be an artist and the last time you touched pencil, paper, sketchbook, napkin, pen was three years ago. You're just lying. You're just lying to yourself and you're wasting your own time. The only person you're lying to in that scenario is yourself. It just, I realized if I wanted to be the type of creator I said I wanted to be, I had to just change overnight. I had to change my whole mindset to take in new concepts like physics, heating, cooling, printing, space, time, all of this other stuff that I never even considered before that just expanded my thinking. And it was so cool because I found something, decided to ponder on it, and made it my own. And now it's like I can do whatever I want with it, which is exciting. But it just changed my perspective completely. Well, after a few months of messing around, printing stuff, making stuff, I kind of started to build a following, actually. It, I grew by thousands of followers and I realized I can do this over and over again. I can find something I like, 
learn more about it and share with other people and that's a journey that people are willing to go on with me and it also made me realize i don't have to be perfect before sharing because that's one thing that a lot of artists struggle with is hey my shit sucks but i still want people to look at it share it put on the put on your socials put online put it wherever it's still valid it's still something people want to see it's still yours so as that's all that matters as long as it's yours and you're proud of it no fuck scratch that last you don't even have to be proud of it you just have to it just has to exist it just has to be you know what i mean like when you're a kid and you scrawl something on a paper you don't know if it's good or bad because you don't have that context yet but the fact that it's yours is what makes it so important and worthy of existing. But while I put the final pieces of my 3D printer together, this is kind of a big deal to me because I upgraded to a pretty expensive model. I wish I had a bigger build plate. Creality, we'll talk about that later. But I just want to really mark this as the moment where I realize how malleable I am and how I can change whatever I want in my life when I want to. And I want you guys to know that too. Oh, thank you for watching and let me know what you want me to print in the comments because I have so many ideas, but I want to hear what you guys want to see first.